Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Haldane Fine Art YouTube channel. I am Angus Haldane and today we are in the restoration studio and we're going to look at a marine painting. We are here in the studio, the home of revarnishing, the home of cleaning, the home of canvas Botox. And before we look at this picture, what I want us to talk about is a little bit of context. So, after Charles I was executed, there were 10 years of interregnum and the protectorate of Oliver Cromwell, and then the restoration of his son, Charles II. Charles II, in order to aggrandize himself and make his own kingdom and himself more important, used art as a weapon. He invited artists from all over Europe to come and paint for him, including Guercino, the great Baroque painter. Guercino said, no thank you, I'm a Catholic and the weather is awful in England. However, he did persuade Willem van der Velde, a Netherlandish painter, to come and paint for him. And Willem van der Velde brought his son, Willem van der Velde the Younger. And Willem van der Velde had his son, Cornelius van der Velde. And between them, they created an artistic marine painting dynasty. And this is by Cornelius van der Velde. And we see here a beautiful royal yacht in a light breeze. The important thing commercially about marine paintings is that the sea must not be too calm because then it's placid and a little boring and it must not be too strong because then you're in a storm and you risk death. But fortunately here it is a light breeze, a gentle swell and the royal yacht calmly drifts from one side of the canvas to the other. The other thing to look for is the intactness, the saturation, the colour of the paint and this beautiful yellow is intact. The rigging is intact and it is a wonderful example of what you'd expect from 17th, early 18th century marine painting in England. I say early 18th century because it is signed, inscribed and dated on the back. Thank you very much.